Hello guys, this is Javier. Today we're going to talk about Emacs. Emacs is one of the most um, difficult um, programs that you can ever find. That's that's the reputation that it has. No, honestly, I I started learning a little bit. Um, reason why I like it is because I think it's incredibly powerful. But um, there are some some problems, right? For example, pressing Control X every single time you want to do something. It's not that, in, that intuitive. It want, let's say I want to close the application. Well, I would do the Control X, Control C. Now I have a custom launcher that allows me to choose the distribution of Emacs that I like. Um, so in my folder, essentially, I have, a, for example, we're going to launch a, for Space Max, right? So on Space Max, what we're going to do is we have a simple um, distribution, which is Space Max. And then we just go to home remove the emacs file which is the config file then we have um, the emacs d folder this is like the main emacs config folder and then the only thing we're doing is we're linking the home uh, slash dot config slash distribution in this case space emacs to home uh, slash dot emacs dot d right that's all the script does. I also have a Doom Emacs uh, script, which does the same thing. And I also have the Emacs script, right? Um, so pretty much um, Emacs, um, GNU Emacs, okay? So pretty much that's what all of these guys do. Now, when you launch, let's say I want to launch GNU Emacs, right? Um, it'll show me normal Emacs, good old Emacs, right? Now, if I launch Space Max, it will launch Space Max. Now, if I want to launch Doom Emacs, again, it will launch Doom Emacs. So my goal here is to have uh, three distributions in one system. I think this is extremely uh, useful because the keys are separate, right? For example, if we I'm going to turn on screen key so you can see the screens that I'm doing. Now, if I press super uh, SS, right? I have to type S really fast two times. I can launch a new buffer with space max. So it'll be space, B for buffer. Then if I want to launch a new buffer, that's capital N, right? Sorry, capital N, and then create buffer, right? So here I am, and I am. I created a new buffer. Now, if I go to buffers again, I can um, go through the list of buffers. So this is the uh, different um, screens than Doom Emacs. So here, um, there's a lot of different options, right? Um, so what I like to do is like I like to uh, press B, and then here I have all the different buffers, right? So Space Max. And here we go. Okay, um, I think that my uh, my favorite distribution of Emacs so far it's Doom Emacs. So what I've done is I've configured the window manager to launch uh, Doom Emacs with a uh, Control Super D, Space Max with Control Super S. So Control Super S, I'm sorry, Control SS launches Space Max, right? Control Super D launches Doom Emacs and Control Super E launches good old Emacs, right? The new Emacs. Um, so that's how I have it configured. I think it's really useful. Um, you think it's not going to be used so much, but then you can also kind of choose what you like the most, right? Here uh, with Doom Emacs, for example, if I want to um, create a new buffer so here I would put B for buffer right and then in order to create a new buffer um, all I have to do is press the capital N right now what I like about Doom Emacs like for example in order to have a list of buffers I just press space and then if you guys see on the left there is like um, uh, less than that will allow me to switch buffers so for me this is a uh, more uh, like simpler so I can go to Doom here, and then I launch the different buffers. So uh, let me go know what you guys think. Um, think, I think for me it's been really useful to. Um, when I wanted to learn Doom Emacs, first thing I thought is like I was like, no, screw that. 
I just need to be a master of the good old Emacs and then I started customizing um, there's nothing wrong with learning this the main problem is that when you start uh, with Emacs um, there's a lot of help that you don't have like you you really must know for example to open a directory right um, I'm not sure what's the bind for that so then you have to go for example so I find myself doing a lot of these right control X so here will be control X D right and then enter and then that's how you do it right um, what I like about the Emacs is that you have the better help so I can press control space sorry and then after I press space uh, let's say I want to open like a folder right um, so then I only have to press space dot and then I'm in right it has a better like helping system I think um, let's say if I want to like uh, open so O for open it's easy and then it will help me uh, for example go to a folder right um, that for me it's a lot easier than um, learning how to use uh, new Emacs right um, so that's what I've learned so far so far um, basic things like here and there now with Doom Emacs I've done a lot more learning um, what I have with Doom Emacs is I have my Twitter uh, so I have Twitter here directly from uh, Doom Emacs I've also configured uh, MU4E with uh, five different accounts um, so I can uh, for example I want to go through unread messages uh, I can reply to messages I've done a lot of configuration for or mode I can see um, let's say if I press here the letter U it will start to like update uh, and be sync uh, so there's a lot of things that I've done uh, with um, Doom Emacs but that doesn't mean that I don't want to learn the normal Emacs so that's kind of how I have it it's uh, you can have three distributions in the same computer that would be it's really useful and then you don't have to necessarily forget about Emacs and never learn like the basics I think if you learn the fundamentals that's when you really start to learn how the whole program was built at the beginning and then you can master like the different distributions